A young adopted girl has a homicidal side in Orphan, one of two movies I'm reviewing this week. Vaughn on Movies, brought to you by Your Ad Could Be Here. Keep that in mind. Hey, I'm Vaughn. Welcome to my show. I'm looking at two movies this week, so in the interest of time, uh, with how long it takes me to edit, I'm going to have to cut these reviews a little short. First up, I'm looking at Orphan, and this is the movie starring Vera Fermega, and yeah, I'm running into a minefield here in regard to not being able to pronounce some of the names. Well, she's a mother who has two children. She suffered a miscarriage about a year ago because she was an alcoholic, and this was revealed through somewhat clever scenes involving her and her shrink. Well, she decides that she needs to adopt a new child. She goes to an orphanage, picks out Esther, who is devilishly clever, a little sophisticated for her age, and has an artistic nature. She takes her home, introduces her to her brother Daniel, and her little sister, who is also the scene stealer, Max, played by Ayarne Engineer. Eventually, the family starts to find out that there has been some circumstances surrounding Esther where people die. I can see the twist coming by about halfway through the movie, and it's a little welcoming. It's not uh, a typical devil child kind of thing, and there's a lot of foreshadowing. I do have some credibility issues with there being so many clues provided by Esther to lead people to her true identity. That's just not smart thinking, and it was kind of scripted that way to lead us to our resolution. The acting is pretty good. It's a little more R-rated than you may think, with a lot of F-bombs, as they call them, and uh, sexuality scenes. Something I don't entirely buy into is the way these characters are just blinded by Esther, particularly the father. Things happen around the house, and he just thinks it's anything but her for unexplained reasons. Esther's grand scheme is somewhat clever, maybe uh, plausible in some terms, perhaps longer than it needed to be. I can see a couple of problems here. I think a more powerful way to show her artwork instead of the reveal that the audience sees, is to have saved it for the end when the father discovers some of her true nature. There's also some character choices where they just could not decide whether or not they wanted to kill the son. He is in peril many times through the movie, and he's relentless, so I feel like every time he's in danger, we're wasting 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. There's not a lot of humor in this movie and I kind of expected a few clever lines here and there. Esther seems at first unprovoked by many of her actions, and once you come across the twist, it clarifies it a little, but it's still not entirely satisfying. With Orphan, there is the occasional creative camera angle. Shot composition's pretty strong in some cases, especially like a scene where the husband and the wife are discussing the language used by Esther as he's doodling away as an architect. However, we can see that there are some direction problems when it comes to handling the actors. Now, I mentioned that Max, the younger sister, is the scene stealer. She's deaf and has to remove her hearing aids at night. And at these times, the diegetic sound goes away. You hear no sound effects, only the non-diegetic theatrical score. And these are some of the more powerful scenes in the movie. In one point, Max has asked her mother to read her a bedtime story. This is not just any bedtime story, this is the story of a little sister who was never born. That's right, a story about little kids understanding a miscarriage. And she's giggling away as though it's the fifth season of Seinfeld. Not the best choice. Ultimately, it just wasn't particularly entertaining, nor was it very scary. The kind of scares you expect to see, the jump scares, the creepy lighting, everything, it just was not in this movie. Gotta give Orphan two stars, kind of a high two stars in some ways. I liked the twist, even though I saw it coming, the acting was okay, just in general, everything is okay, and that's not always acceptable. 